All right, everybody. So Tom Cormier back with the last recent edition of Tom's Guide. So in the last two videos, I did one on the add-on items bundling. That is a really great update. And I also did the coupon hunter update, which is, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. So this is the last final update as of recently. They all came out within the last couple of days. And this one, I think, goes hand in hand with exactly what I, I try to teach my students. And that is that if one of your accounts is getting throttled, start a new eBay account and then move those items from move the items that hadn't sold in the last 30 days or had sold in the past, but not in the last 30 days from your main account that's getting throttled onto your new account. You're going to see sales increase and it's going to be, I mean, it's going to work for how long is it going to work? Uh, that's, that's up to you for if you want to keep it up and going, but you know, it really depends. So beforehand you would, you know, you can go into your advanced. So how do you, how do you get to this screen? You go to items and you, then you, you, go, you click on items. So after that you go to filter. If you don't want to filter anything and you just want to keep it regular, then you can just click view items. I think it will show all your items, but you're obviously going to want to filter things and use the advanced filter. There's a little video there. I did. I made a video on it in the past and basically you can pick what account you want, how many views, price range, number of orders, multi, there's so many things here that you can do. Sold range, unsold range. So you can pick items that had sold between this price range in the past 30 days, but hadn't, or hadn't sold in the last 30 days, but had sold in the past between a specific price range. There's just so many things out there. You can add tags to your listings and then only sort by those tags. There's so many things you can do. So all I did was just one of my accounts, inactive items. So those are items just that aren't either on Amazon anymore. They're inactive. They're not there. So then I just, then all you have to do, you can also create filters so you can save the filter. Like say you want to do like this one filter all the time and you can save it, name it, and then you can just use that filter on over and over again. After that, you just click view items. So I'm not going to show you guys these 467 items because this is on my account, but there's multiple things you can do from here. So before when you were going to, you know, export the, the CSV, you would have to contact the customer support, say, Hey, I want this CSV for, you know, I would remove items mainly. So if it had sold in the past, but hadn't sold in the last 30 days on one account, I would remove and then click move to BBS. That's at one of my stores, abbreviation for one of my stores. And then I would move, take those items off whatever account it was on. And then, you know, I would know that I had to move them to BBS. So up, what you would do is you would click on all those items down below. So what you can do is just, you know, scroll down and then there's a checkbox right here. And then if you click this checkbox or hover there, there's an, there's an option that says all under it and it'll highlight all of them. So after you highlight all of them, then you can just go up here to remove, give it a comment and then just click remove and it would remove it. But before doing that, which you don't have to do anymore, well, you still are gonna have to remove them that way. So you, you highlight them, you give it a comment, and then you remove it. But before that, you can highlight them all and then just click export. And when you export them, it will bring up an Excel file. And this Excel file, I slim down so that, you know, not everything is there. Not all the, not, not all the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the titles and whatnot are there. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. So once I export it, it'll show you basically everything here. And this is the eBay ID, item ID, the ASIN number, the, the, the listing name, the UPC and whatnot. So, you know, basically everything you need is there. From there, you can take all the ASIN numbers and then just list them onto another account. So that's how it really works. All you need is the ASIN and the title and that's all you really need. You can also just do it with just the ASIN if you wanna just use the Amazon title, which I usually only use anyways. So after you do that, after you export the list, then you can remove them if you want or do whatever you want. You can export for any reason there is whatever you want. You can get sales data on it. You can figure out other things. Uh, you can make a filter, an advanced filter for different types of sales data, and then, you know, export it, do some, whatever you want to do with it, math, do analytics, do whatever you want. But the primary reason I would use this is just to delete items that had sold in the past off one account and put them onto another one and, or just delete items that just haven't sold in the last 30 days. If you want to put them onto another account, you can, if not, then just, you know, leave them. You'll have data for which ones didn't sell. And you can either evaluate that or just, you know, do whatever you want with it. So it's, this function was here beforehand. The exporting was available, but you would have to contact customer support. They would have to do it for you. So that's a big pain in the ass. And this is basically just, you know, no, no one voided that. You don't have to do that anymore. You can do it on your own. You don't have to wait on somebody else. You don't have to wait on the customer service and you'll have exactly what you have at the tips of your fingers whenever you want. So I hope you guys like this video. This is a really great update because, you know, this is one of the last things that we really needed to make it very streamlined to just move items between accounts. And it's, it's very beneficial. I've seen a great amount of success with it and I hope you do too. So I hope you guys enjoyed these three videos and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.